Hello. That was an exciting week with GameStock and the Stock Exchange. So, and that is a good reason to make a video about that. And um, this video will go about what is a short squeeze. And to explain that, we need first to explain what is short selling. Okay, let us start right away. Here's the manager of our hedge fund. Nice guy. Let's say he starts with $50,000 in our example. Of course, we want to make it easy. One day he researches on his laptop and finds GameStop. And he thinks by himself, man, I can make this stock drop. So he calls his broker, which nowadays is a computer program, but for explaining sake, we say it's a person. He will tell his broker, I want to sell 1000 shares short for $100 each. Yes, he wants to sell shares he don't have. So now the trick broker tells him he can borrow 1,000 shares from his clients and he will lend them to our nice headphones manager for 50% of today's sales price as margin. This is a deficit for safety. Plus he has to pay interest to him and to his clients for the borrowed shares. To get it started, he now has to transfer the $50,000 into his margin account where they have to stay until he can give back 1,000 shares of GameStop. And now the fun can start. Only 50,000 of his own money he can sell 1,000 shares he don't even own at a market value of $100,000. And in the second phase of the short sell, he will now need the stock exchange. Now he will order the broker to sell the 1000 shares. And the broker will place the order accordingly. Here we have our shares. Now we have to wait for another broker and here she comes and she wants to buy for her clients 1000 shares for $100 each. So the 100,000 are going to our broker and the borrowed shares are now sold to the other broker. Now he transfers the 100,000 to our hedge fund manager. Meanwhile, he feels more rich, he has a carpet. And he has now $100,000 in his account, plus the $50,000 in his margin account, as that was with his broker. But he still has to give back the 1,000 shares. And that is phase three. In this phase, he talks now and he explains to the world and everyone who wants to know and don't want to know, these GameStop shares really have a problem. They're gonna die and here is a lot of experts who say the same. But he orders his broker to buy 1000 shares now for $50 each. So the broker places the order. You want to buy 1,000 shares at about 50 each. Meanwhile, the people are talking. GameStop, 
it's really really bad even the experts are saying that warnings everywhere it, it's going down it's going down what can they do quickly place a selling order the other broker and the other broker will accept the offer for $50 each and sells 1,000 shares. Or broker. And now there's a transfer. 50,000 going and the shares going up to our broker. So the broker transfers the 1,000 shares to our hedge fund. Here they are. And he finally can give the shares back to the broker. And the broker gives him back the $50,000 margin on his account, which were the deposit. So finally, he has 50000 of his initial money, 50000 from the short sell, which makes $50,000 profit minus the interest rates he had to pay for the lending. So, that is how the short sell works without any interfering zone problems. And that makes the hedge fund happy. Ah, you are back. Okay, don't worry. That was already the complicated part. Now we concentrate on the short squeeze. For this, we will go back right to the point where the hedge fund sold the 1000 shares of GameStop. Because from that point on, the scenario will be totally different. In this part, you can see how dangerous short selling can really be. Because you can lose much more than you have invested. Now we are back at our hedge fund manager. I just sold the 1000 shares of GameStop and received the $100,000 into his account. He still has to give back 1000 shares in the future. And here we see the $50,000 he had to put into his margin account as a deposit. The margin account is is a broker. And this is the point where he starts talking about GameStop and about all the problems this company is facing. And that it very likely will drop and um, more problems are to come. again at the stock exchange where he tells his broker to place an order to buy GameStop for $50 because you know GameStop has problems and the value of GameStop is not more than $50. And here $50,000 waiting for the broker to accept the deal. So and here comes the other broker. this time something changed. People are gathering and they are buying GameStop. And more people are joining and buying the shares. And they say, I do not care what you say. I do not sell now. Because we know you must buy. That's why the price will rise and rise and rise. And they say the price is 400 now. And this is the point where the problems come to the hedge fund manager. 
the broker is calling and demands that he has to pay 150,000 to the margin account because 50% of 400,000 is 200,000 and he only has 50,000 there. Problem is, he only has 100,000 from the selling of the shares. And on top of it, he has to buy for 400,000 the shares. And that is called a short squeeze. Now he has to loan 450,000 and pay the 150,000 to the broker. Then he orders the broker to offer 400 per share. So back at the stock exchange, he will place the order to buy the shares for 400. So that's 400,000. And this time, the other broker will accept. And there's the shares. The money goes to the other broker and the shares to the broker. the broker will transfer the money to the free people of Reddit. And here they come. They are all happy and celebrate. The hedgehog on the other side will get back his $200,000 which were at his margin account but has to pay back the $450,000 he had to loan. That makes a minus of $250,000 and interest for the initial borrowing of the stocks and he lost $50,000 of his start capital. And that is the end. I hope you found this video informative. It took me way longer than I had expected, but it was fun to make. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment or subscribe to my channel. That would be great and you would know when I make a new video. Thanks for watching.